before we sign the autographs, we do want to have this service. So uh, for all of you that want to come in and just kind of line up out here in the front, we'll go ahead and get started. And maybe y'all don't get run over out of here. And I know a lot of you, a lot of you are having a little priest here, but uh, I preach a lot of the race back.
because every people will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. It's just going to be, I assume you come to that knowledge, see, because we live on earth. We live on earth. But there are two worlds here on this earth. There's a world of darkness, which is ignorance, and there's a world of light, which is Jesus Christ, and it's the truth. And so when we look at that today, it's knowledge. Knowledge, well, as soon as we get that knowledge and an understanding of what we need to do, let me give you an illustration of what I'm talking about. Jesus came one day and the disciples were asking why he spoke in parables and he told all the people who want to know what that means and they hear that. So he said a farmer went out one day to, a farmer went out one day to, to, to plant a farm, to plant some, the field. And, and he took that and he took some of that, the seeds and he threw it like he threw it down on this ground right here. And it fell right here on the ground. Say, well, I don't have this and I don't have that. I don't have 
He knows you by first name basis. And he looks at you today. And he says, come stand by me. Stand by my side. I know you are thirsty. You'll not be denied. I know because, see, every time you shed a tear, I took it bottle that tear up and it was for those tears that I died today. I want you to know today, come to me for that living water. Come to me for the things you need. And let you know that, that God's kingdom one day will be restored here on earth. And all of you will be doing something for God one day. Many of the plans in a man's heart of God's purpose will prevail. God's purpose will take charge. You might have all kinds of plans today. But until you know Jesus, until you know Jesus, you can have all these other things. You can rule all these countries. But he said one day there's going to be a rock put out of Babylon. And that rock's going to come rolling down. And it will crush all these other kingdoms. And it will come down. And it will be eternal. It will never be destroyed. And that rock is the kingdom of God. It will take over all the kingdoms. Then one day, when this message is preached to all nations, then the end will come. People today, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior today, I pray that you come down here and see me just an old sinner saved by grace. If you'll come and I'll tell you. And I want you to, uh, I don't know how all of these are but I know a man who does, and I know a man that can have him. And he's more than just a story. He's the king of glory, and always will be. And you know something? Every one of y'all will be just in his today. Every one of y'all will be just like him. And when he looks at you, he's well pleased, because today you're hearing the word of God. And he knows that one day you'll come to the realization, I need to say, and he's already paid your price in power. Today, because he lives, you also shall live. People don't give up on him. Don't give up on him today. He's still alive. He's still all strong. He'll never be removed. So I just think he's going to all kind of day. I know you can't get here already, but somewhere in between getting up this morning and tonight, you've got to hear the word of God straight from his mouth. Straight from his mouth. And he speaks to you today. And he said, I love you. I love you, Corey. I love you, Rush Carter. He said a lot of people today are standing in those churches criticizing you because you're at a racetrack and you're not in church. But I want you to know God doesn't need us inside the church. They're supposed to already be saved. He needs you out here today where you can go out and meet with these people and let them know that you love them no matter where they are, no matter what they're doing. Because all of us are brothers and sisters in Christ. None of us are any better than the other. We make us all alive. Every one of us, he said, my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and follow me. Then I'll come and I'll hear their voice. Thank all of y'all for being here today. Thank y'all for not starting those motors up while I was speaking. And I just hope that I can get the oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> That's all right. Thank you. 